Hey guys, my name's Eric McStanley. You might remember me from the first Crab Boy, um, you know, underneath the shell, you know, living as a Crab Boy in high school. And so, uh, as a follow up, the producers decided that they wanted to come and see how I was doing at college. And here it goes. I'm just a kid, and life is a nightmare. I'm just a kid, I know. Of course, I graduated in 07, you know. Woo woo! St. Ed's class of 07, go Eagles. Um, you know, and then so after I graduated, you know, I had to figure out what I was going to do with my life. And since I always knew I wanted to be an engineer, I came here to the Ohio State University and I majored in material science engineering, which is really exciting because I get to melt metal and other cool stuff in my claw. And it doesn't involve killing shellfish at all, which is always exciting. You know, I really lucked out because my roommate, Burke, I mean, you know, at first there was a little tension because he wasn't sure about how to feel about me. You know, he was like, this kid's part crab, you know, I, he just wasn't sure. And I totally understand that, you know, because there's a lot of different things he encounter while living with me that, you know, you wouldn't really encounter with another person. Because, you know, once a month, my claw, it sheds and all that. And, uh, you know, he's been pretty cool about that kind of stuff. What did I do to deserve this hell? This kid, I, I don't know how he made it through high school alive. He leaves his Legos. He, he acts like he's four. I tr when I walk out of bed for my 7.30 class, it's like walking through a nursery. My feet are covered in Legos. I don't, I don't understand it. He's, he's so, look, he's, look at this mess. Look at this, he drinks Coke like it's water. He, I don't understand, every meal he has, he has tartar sauce. He's, he's part fish. Why does he eat tartar sauce? He doesn't let me bring sushi back into the room because it says it offends him. He He's in this weird group on campus that goes and protests outside whatever place that serves fishes around here, but he eats tartar sauce. Tartar sauce goes with fish. Yeah, you know, I kind of keep up with my workouts just like I used to. But I still play a lot of basketball with my friends and stuff. I knew I wouldn't be able to make the team or anything here because it's a Division I school, and we've got a really strong sports program, but, you know, I still play intramural basketball, except for my friends, and we had a decent team, you know, we used to get our practice in the off-season, you know, it was really good. We're called the Crab Killers. I'm not sure if I was really a fan of the name or not, but they said it was all in good fun. I'd still lift a lot, that kind of thing, you know. Well, you know, I, I go to, you know, the Ohio State University, and so we're on the oval here. It's kind of like, you know, it's in the center of campus, nice big green space. It's where a lot of people come and do sports and that type of thing. But, yeah, it was really cool seeing Betty earlier today. I mean, she doesn't really know me or anything, you know? But we did have a Chem 121 class together one time, and I sat behind her for three classes, and she was in my lab. So I think we really hit it off really well, you know? So... I'm just hoping that eventually she can see past my crab deformity and just kind of accept me for who I am, you know? And I've met a lot of great people here. You know, Ohio State is just so diverse that, you know, they're just so accepting. I really like it. You know, I said at the end of the last one of these that we did that all I really wanted was to be accepted. And I think that finally I'm starting to find that here, you know? hearts and minds of my fellow college students. And maybe when the night is dead, I'll crawl into my bed, staring at these four walls again. I'll try to think about the last time I had a good time. Everyone's got somewhere to go. And they're gonna leave me here on my own. And here it goes. I'm just a Holy, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This Claude son of a bitch. Just, just look at the, this closet right here. And he's up there. I, I don't want to touch it. I, I just can't fall asleep because it smells like a Japanese fishing Like, I just can't do it. Just, uh, I can't do it anymore.